All right, let's switch gears, get a check on your forecast. Meteorologist Peter Hall is out on the weather deck. Pete, let's take a breath and a pause from politics for now and, and talk about the weather. Okay, we'll do. And it's been a cloudy day. We've had some on and off showers, but you notice I don't have a coat on. It was another mild day, not quite as warm as yesterday, but numbers are going to be coming down just a little bit. So let's talk all about it with our next weather maker so you know exactly what to expect next. So. We will have changeable conditions, which means it's not like we're going to have an extended period of every day is cloudy or every day is sunny. We'll probably have some days that are sunnier than others, other days that are wetter than others, but there will be constant change, which is kind of typical for central New York. In terms of temperatures that are more typical, like closer to these numbers, the period between Friday night and Saturday night is the closest will be to near normal. We might even be a degree or two below normal, but that's pretty close to normal. Every other temperature, is still going to be somewhat above average, not as warm as it was today and not as warm as it will, was yesterday, but we absolutely have no very cold or well below average temperatures next. I mean, case in point, take a look. Yesterday was 80, one of the latest 80s on records. Today's high 71. It's not the official number yet, but I think it'll be. Is actually tied for fifth warmest November 6th on record because look how far above average it is. As we look ahead, here's what's next. We'll be in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow, a smidge above average, but cooler. You know, you see the numbers are at least closer to average, especially Saturday. That's likely our coolest day. But again, most of the time we're somewhat above average, not only for highs, but for lows too. You may have noticed right around sunset or just basically right now that there were some breaks in the clouds and we'll have that this evening, but new cloud cover and some bits of showers and sprinkles come through. And I think that's how we start tomorrow morning. Pretty cloudy. Now this model is showing it becoming really sunny really quickly during the afternoon. I wouldn't be surprised if the sun might wait a little longer than this, but you get the idea. It's a seasonable day, low to mid fifties, and it'll still be a little bit breezy tomorrow. Skies will be pretty clear for central New York tonight, but you see how east of Lake Ontario, there's some extra clouds. That's going to make a different forecast. If you're watching us from route 31 South, it's sunny, then turning cloudy. If you're watching us east of Lake Ontario, it's pretty cloudy a good chunk of the day with a better chance of showers. Otherwise, a high of 58. Saturday is our coolest day, but it's also our brightest day, a high of 50. Sunday, early sun, then thickening clouds, a chance for showers. Veterans Day, in and out of showers and some sun. And temperature still above average. Stanley Law Skywatch. Well, you're taking a wide shot there of the immediate Syracuse area. I believe we're looking kind of southeastward here. That's 690 that you see in some of the hills uh, south of Syracuse. You're up to date with the forecast. Back inside. President-elect Donald Trump.